You asked for it and you got it. He's the man in the hat. We got the after the thrilling, riveting New York Jets. Previously 0-4, New York Jets win over the Dallas Cowboys. Swagoo and Stephen A. is here. Stephen A., your thoughts? Well, it depends on what you're asking me, buddy. Mm -hmm. but Anything like you want. To talk about? Let's talk about the Cowboys' stunning first, defeat. Hold on, hold on. First of all, don't you be sitting up here embellishing the damn Jets to him, okay? All right, because you didn't think they was going to win either. I didn't know Sam Darnold was going to play. Had I known Sam Darnold was going to play, I would have absolutely known they were going to win. Well, but see, I go, all, don't deflect this to well, me. Well, well, Let's first, not make this about me. Your beef is first, with Mr. Smith. First of all, it's a couple of things, Swagoo. By the way, that's a nice nickname. I like to say that. <laughs> First of all, let's make sure we monitor our temperament. There's no reason to really, really be upset. If you had managed your expectations, okay, if you had just managed those expectations, you wouldn't be sitting here having to deal with me right now. Now, I tried to tell you. I tried to tell you. I'm not going to pretend that I thought for one second that the 0-4 Jets was going to win. But I tried to tell you that coach of yours, question mark, fourth and two, seventh yard line, second quarter, you could kick the field goal. How much did you lose by two? How much is a field goal worth? Three. All you had to do to kick the field goal. But no. Got to run the game that suspect at that moment. Did you run the football? No. You got Amari Cooper out. You got Randall Cobb out. You want to throw the football? Oh, no. We going to call a quarterback sweep for Dak Prescott. Knowing that Jamal Adams and those boys are there. Just not smart. Not smart. Kellen Moore, that wasn't smart. Jason Garrett, that wasn't smart. And then the very next play. That man, Robert Anderson, not supposed to be a number one, but looked like a number one on that double move on a woozy right there, 92-yard touchdown. That was the game. Now, you want to sit we up saw here. The damn game. Now, you want to sit up here and be emotional, but let's understand something here. This is further evidence of what I've been telling you time and time again. How many times does that old boy Stephen A. Smith tell you, be patient, just wait. They will not let you down. They are an accident waiting to happen. But I will tell you this. There's a sadness that comes with this story. My buddy, Jerry Jones. My <laughs> buddy. Birthday right, right day before mine. It was. His birthday was Sunday. My birthday was Monday. You know, two Libra brothers. That's my guy. I certainly don't root against him. But knowing that those Cowboy fans across the world are miserable right now, disgusted, questioning their own football mortality for the 2019 NFL season, I must say, it's a really, really good feeling to know that they're miserable right now. And you, of all people, are further evidence. On a weekend that the LSU Tigers look absolutely formidable, you are sitting here depressed because you know those Cowboys are going to let you down. Anything? Eh, 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 eh. Do we have anything from you, Mr. Swagoo? You know what? Uh, last week I told you I, didn't, I couldn't stand the way you sit on the sideline and wait for people to fail. Not people, All right. just the Cowboy fans. It's, it's people. <laughs> just it's, the Cowboy fans. It's people involved no, 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 no. in this organization that takes this seriously. I made a couple of calls Sunday after this game, yes. right? Mm -hmm. And I was with my family. Gee, you know I'm on the road quite a bit. Yes. I was with my family enjoying my Sunday. Wow. And I see Stephen A. Yeah. Just celebrating at the failure of the Cowboys. And he had the audacity to spell out the Jets name. Yes. He is still How is that fan. spelled, by the way? He's a Steelers fan. Uh -huh. You don't start. Okay, okay. He is a Steelers fan. And everything seems to revolve around the Cowboys. So, so I got to thinking. I got to thinking. I told him about a month ago. Mm -hmm. I said, this team is who you are. This is, you are the, the human of this team. You know what that boils down to? You know what that boils down I'm to? I'm listening, buddy. You will be quiet as a church mouse mm. when they rip off this NFC East mm -hmm. and they win these games. Mm -hmm. Steven, they going to quiet down. And then he going to wait again for them to fail mm -hmm. like, like – 30 of the teams in the NFL will do. Might and Mike Greenberg. That's what people don't Might think about. Mike Greenberg. Yes. See, he's missing, he's missing an important element in all of this. That's the thing people he, don't want to talk know, about. Here's what you're missing. Here's what you're missing about me. You haven't done your homework on me, buddy. Because if you did your homework on me, you'd actually know that I'm actually not that happy about what's happening to the Dallas Cowboys now. Do you know why? 
because the timing is off. See, it's not Christmas yet. You want it to happen. I, li I like it to happen around Christmas time. <laughs> where, where we talking about opening those presents and having those expectations and those Super Bowl aspirations and everybody's looking forward to Miami and they're talking about how the Dallas Cowboys, America's team, is going to be there. It's and then America's all of a sudden team. they're right here and then right around the time that the holiday season is there and it's all festive and the bright lights in the big city are, are going from Dallas to New York and every place else and then all of a sudden it comes crashing down see to me that's my ideal scenario this particular oh, scenario it happening in, it happening in october before halloween that does not make me happy that doesn't tickle okay. my soul you are okay you with being saying? a hater it's, it's all right you it's okay. all right but i love my boy jerry jones that's my buddy right you know, there you okay that's with my being buddy right there you don't love jerry jones i do you i love i love me some jerry jones because you'll love the cowboys if you love no jerry that's jones. not true that's yeah, not true would. that's he my buddy right there that's my him and Steven Jones, yep. those are my buddies. Yep. We're gonna go out for a drink. I'm serious. I promised them we're gonna go out for a drink. And I'm this gonna treat I'm gonna treat stand. I'm gonna treat them. I'm just letting you know. This disrespect. This will conversation not stand. will continue on first take. It These two guys stand. will go at it across the hall in 24 minutes. Hey, you'll even smoke Thank you. Mighty Mike Greenberg. You'll yes. even smoke seagull. Good to see, buddy. <laughs> Good to see you, buddy. <laughs> you know, All right. smoke that was everything we hoped it would be. Hell, what do you have? Yeah, uh, if it makes you feel better, Spears, you're not the only sad fan on the set because Georgia lost to South Carolina. I mean, that's it. That's literally the read. Georgia, the number three team in the country, lost to a team when they were favored by 21 and a half. And now they sit at number 10 in the AP poll. And uh, they have a 10% chance now to reach the playoffs, according to our playoff predictor. So all's going well in the state of Georgia. Says Paul Feinbaum, right? Like, Georgia's done, right? I mean, I, we watched that game Saturday, and, like, Georgia's over. Listen, you can't argue Supreme Court precedent when you're talking about the college football playoff, but there's at least five other times when we've had similar situations. But the most important thing to remember here is Georgia's schedule. They control their own destiny. I know people hate to hear that word, but should Georgia win out, you can look at it right there, they will get to the college football playoff because they'll end up playing either Alabama or LSU in the SEC championship game. That will get them in. They are a mortal lock to get in the playoffs if they win out. Now, will they do that? That's the, that's the biggest if in college before <laughs> not. Listen, I was on the call for that game. Did, did you see that? Um, I must tell you, I was watching, but the announcing was so tedious, <laughs> I had to turn it down. It's very average. Uh, I think George is done. Um, Ooh. This is why. They were, in many ways, exposed on the outside. A lot of people are talking like they got beat up up front. I didn't see that. But they don't have the receivers outside right now. And all South Carolina did was line up and play man-to-man -man coverage. And George is very young at receiver right now. And they didn't do anything as a coaching staff to help those young receivers. And they just couldn't win man. And if, if I'm Auburn, if I'm Florida, I'm watching that game and going, okay, we can, get, we can handle Georgia because we've got the secondary to do it to play man coverage. And so, yes, if they win out, I just don't see it because of the lack of talent, if you want to say, or, or experienced talent on the outside. Yeah, I mean, I can't argue that point, but it's worth remembering, Ellen. I know you remember this very well. A year ago this weekend, Georgia went down to LSU, a much better team than they saw the other day and lost by 20 points. Yeah. It, it turned their season around. They came back and beat Florida. Uh, they, they beat Auburn, and they were up big against Alabama. A bit of a galvanizing moment, if you will, last year. But to Dan's point, you can't get away with having one touchdown your entire season on anything longer than 10 yards. They just don't have any explosive ability. Yeah. And until they rectify that... They will. It's going to be. Will they? Yes. They will. Okay. Well, listen, Guaranteed. I don't want to go toe-to-toe -to -toe with you because on SEC Nation this weekend, meanwhile on Earth, Paul Feinbaum Look at this. had Look. to take on Bill Goldberg. <laughs> it was brains versus bronze, and I'll let you guys figure out who was the brawn. Paul, explain yourself. I, I mean, I'm not, I'm not afraid of this guy. He's an old man. <laughs> <laughs> and, you know, I mean, he, he, his career is over, and I, 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 will, I, will, I will kick his ass the next time we meet. What? <laughs> Wait, what? Say it again with your chest. Okay, still ahead. <laughs> with your chest. <laughs> Wait a minute. <laughs> uh, still ahead. Jerry Goff. Out west, Jimmy G and the Niners are rolling, but Jared Goff and the Rams are reeling, so why it feels like this won't change anytime soon. We're going to get into that. Say it again. Look into the camera and say it again.
Wait. Okay, I did this okay. once. I'll do it again. Now get out of my way, man. Hey!